Good morning, today we'll learn how to use React Hook form with TypeScript. We're gonna build a simple form with uh, first name, last name, and age that you can save, and it will alert the form data. The fields are required, so if you skip one of the fields, it will show the error. In this case, it will ask you to enter the name. I'll start by creating a new React application with the TypeScript template. npx create React app template TypeScript RHF TS. Now we can go to the project folder cd RHF TS and install React Hook form. Yarn add React Hook form. React Hook form is written in TypeScript, so we don't have to install type definitions separately. Now we can open the project, go to app.tsx, remove the logo and application layout. Let's define a form. Inside of the form, we'll define the input groups inside of divs. So it will be a label and an input. First label is first name. We specify the HTML4. It should be first name. Input ID first name, same as uh, name of the field, name, first name, the type is text, and now let's repeat it for the remaining fields. We need first name, last name, and age. Last name, id last name, name last name, and age, id age, name, age. In the end, let's add a button, type submit with text save. Now we have our form, let's connect the React Hook form library. To do this, we need to define the register that we get from use form. We pass register as a reference to each of the inputs, ref register, and repeat it to every input, ref register and for age also ref register. So far there were no difference from using React Hook form with regular JavaScript files, but now we're going to use the handle submit function. Handle submit. So if you define your on submit handler, on submit equals function, that will need to get the data and alert it using JSON, stringify, data. You will get a TypeScript error that type data implicitly has the type any. We could fix it by defining a new type called profile that would describe all the fields of our form. So, for example, it would have first name, string, last name, string, and age, number. And we could say that our onSubmit function receives data of type profile. But we can also pass this type to the use form as a type argument, profile, and then instead of passing the onSubmit function like this, onSubmit equals handle submit on submit, we could wrap the onSubmit function definition instead. So it would be onSubmit equals handle submit, and then the function that we want to use to handle the data. And then we pass our onSubmit function as an onSubmit handler to our form. And in this case, TypeScript can derive the type of the data that your form will pass to React Hook form. That's because we passed the type of our form data to use form hook. Good thing is that not only the handle submit function now knows what kind of data will it process, but also other parts of React Hook form. So, for example, the errors object. Let's say we want to check that the fields are uh, filled. Let's say we want to make our fields required. Let's pass the required true to each register function. Required true and age is also required true. Now we can handle errors by adding a block where we will check errors, first name. And as you can see, we already get suggestions. We have uh, optional fields age, first name and last name. So if we have first name, then we render a div class name error with text enter your name. We can do the same for other fields, but now we will check for last name 
and age. Enter your last name and enter your age. Let's go to the browser. Try to enter the name, surname and age. Maybe let's keep the age to see if we will see the error. We see the error and it means that everything works. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments what else would you like to know about React Hook Form or TypeScript or React. Subscribe to the channel and also join my Discord server to pick the topics for the next videos. See you next time.